What's up everybody? Today I want to go over my no build truck camper setup that I've been putting together. Um, a couple things I want to acknowledge before I even dive into it. One, this is a five and a half foot truck bed. Um, when I bought the truck, I wasn't planning on making it into somewhat of a truck camper, um, but we've been doing some more overnight and week long fishing trips that I thought it would be fun to kind of sleep back there. Plus I've been watching obviously YouTube videos of guys that have done their truck campers um, and made those into some pretty cool setups. So I wanted to do something similar. So that's the one thing that um, is tough with the five and a half fit truck bed, just because you can't really put your stuff back there and leave it set up all the time. Um, and then two is I've done for my topper is soft topper. So I'll show you that um, as well and kind of go over it. I actually have been super happy with it. I like the idea that I can fold that down, um, take it off completely if I want to load the dirt bikes or something back there. There's a ton of review videos on the soft topper, so I'm not going to go into uh, too much of how it works. Just my thoughts on it. It's super sturdy. Driving down the highway at 85 miles an hour, it actually does really well. I don't see it rattle or shake at all. Um, I've had zero issues with it. It's actually very waterproof for the majority of it. I did put some weather stripping in there to kind of just seal off some edges, but uh, we're in Utah. We've got, you know, a couple feet of snow on the ground still, and it's been, we've been getting hit hard by moisture, and I haven't had really any moisture come in through the back of the, the soft hopper. Um, it's not insulated. It's not... You can't lock it. Those are kind of some of the downsides of it. But for... The, the versatility of being able to take it off <clears throat> um, completely, still be able to have access to my truck bed. I'm married, I have a little boy. Like I, I just use my truck for more than just truck camping. So this is kind of why I wanted to go with the soft topper. Um, it really gives me a lot of options of just using my truck as an everyday driver plus camping out of it on the weekend. And so I kind of will show you what I've done as my truck camper setup. Basically, it's it's uh, lightweight hiking, camping um, gear that I've kind of just used to set up a, a truck camping setup, uh, just to make it as easy to put together as possible. Uh, very light, very compact to throw into the cab if I you know am, am headed somewhere for the weekend. I can throw all the stuff in there, set it up really quickly, and, and be sleeping out of there with pretty relative ease. So. Um, I'm going to take a second, get everything set up, and then I'll kind of show you around. Okay, we just got it all set up here. It's not the prettiest thing in the world but it works and it gives me another foot and a half of space back there. Um, and I'll show you inside just a second. It's actually pretty cozy. The one thing that I don't like is it has these bungee straps that kind of come down and you hook them onto your running board. So what I did is just took a microfiber towel to stick underneath there where it uh, is touching on the paint so that it doesn't rub on there. I'll kind of walk around here and see. So it's just kind of got a bungee that comes. And again, I kind of just did the same thing just hooked it onto the plastic underneath there. It's got a bungee strap that goes kind of all the way around underneath there, underneath your bumper, another strap on this side. And then it just kind of rests on top there. There's not much to it. I do have a little one gallon propane tank that I have hooked up to a little Mr. Buddy heater. I'll show you in just a second. I like to use this little guy because I can leave it outside and then the hose just runs right up into there to the heater. So this is just the DAC full-size camper top tent. If you have a hard shell, this works really well because it just sits on the back window. If you're using a soft topper like me, then it just has these poles that you kind of just nestle down on the side there. You just kind of wedge them in there and it works well to just sit up and give you an extra foot and a half roughly of bed space here so that you can do your full camper setup. The first thing I did is take some gym mats. You've seen these foam one inch gym mats that are kind of interlocking 
um, I bought a set of those and used those to make my flooring. So it gives me a flat um, work surf or <clears throat> gives me a flat floor. It's a little bit of cushioning to it, and it's so much warmer than the hard spray and bed liner and the hard uh, just the bed itself. It's actually pretty cozy to get back here, take your shoes off and. Uh, and sit and walk around on in especially kneel kneeling on the uh, Truck bed is so hard on your knees, but this is actually really soft okay. so, so I'll just kind of give you a quick little setup of the gear that I have it's fairly basic at this point It's definitely going to improve and change as I get out and use it some more um, But this cool just kind of get me started. So this is a, a hiking cot uh, I chose the short one just so that I can still sit up and have plenty of headspace in here um, it doesn't cover over the wheel well, but that's okay. It just gives me a little bit of room to kind of store some stuff down there on the side. Um, and then this little portable camping table that sets up really easy and uh, is kind of a little workspace, cook space, can be a lot of things in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump in and then kind of show you what it looks like from the inside. Um, <clears throat> I got one of these little Teton Sports cot organizers that I just kind of it's velcro and just kind of strap that on to the sides there to give you basically some storage there I have carbon monoxide detector you know place to put a water bottle if I wanted to put toothbrush or you know like I got sunscreen a little bit of things in there uh, just extra storage this little table this is a hiking portable table only weighs a couple pounds it's by one tigress. Um, it comes together really easy. It even has a little storage basket underneath there. If I'm sitting in here, you know, brought my laptop or something, I can sit in here pretty comfortably. Let me show you a headspace. So I'm sitting in here. I can sit up fully without being close to anything. Um, would have a work a workstation here, a little. It's like a jet boil, but this is Camp Chef's version, so it's the Camp Chef Striker. It actually works really well. I've been really happy with it, and I got that on sale for forty nine bucks. So hard to beat that price. But a little workstation in here. Um, I haven't strung up any lights or anything like that, and I don't know if I will. Uh, this is the Power Boost pickup, so I have the seven point two kilowatt generator on this thing that I can run off of and I also have yeah, the the battery the hybrid battery so all these lights and stuff are powered by the hybrid battery and so I can run off that without draining the truck battery and it actually lights it up pretty well plus this little Coleman lantern uh, it just runs off D batteries which lasts forever the LED lights and what's cool about it is each one of these little sections pops off so it turns into a flashlight even <clears throat> it has a little kickstand on the back so if i was in here trying to read or something i could put one of these up do different things with that i think i could stand it up like that maybe not but it's pretty versatile i don't have to hook up a lights or rig anything up in here I can still see just fine at night. I do have a little Jackery portable battery that I'll just set underneath there, but I left that at home, so uh, I don't have it with me right now. Um, but it really gives me plenty of space back here to put my bag or clothes or, you know, uh, all my stuff, basically all my fishing stuff is mainly what I'll use this for. When I'm sitting back here like this, uh, you can see really how much room that I have uh, oh yeah, this little fan I just got off Amazon, it just has a clip, and I can put that really anywhere, but that just helps circulate the heat. I turned that little buddy heater on when I got back here, it's about 35 degrees outside right now, uh, and it's already cooking back here, pretty warm, so I can turn this on to kind of circulate that heat in the winter or, you know, cool me down a little bit in the summertime. Utah's mountains stay pretty cool year round, so uh, I don't have to worry about AC or humidity or anything like that. So it's pretty comfortable camping most of the time. So yeah, overall, I mean, camping out of a five and a half foot truck bed, you don't have a ton of options, but I feel like this is actually a pretty good setup for what it is. Obviously, ideally, 
you have a six and a half or an eight foot truck bed that you just kind of have everything set up back here and, and sleep with it. Um, it's a little bit more stealthy that way for sure. And I totally can sleep sideways in this thing. Um, I have just an inflatable mattress and on these foam uh, gym mats, it act, it's actually pretty comfy and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like before I take all, well, after I take off the tent and stuff. So if I get to a spot and I really just need to sleep, like I can just throw that inflatable pad down and sleep back here. That's totally fine. Um, but if I'm going to be staying somewhere for a few days and I want to get comfortable, um, I feel like this is actually pretty, pretty ideal for, for what I have. So if I want to do more of a stealth camper setup, I just have these inflatable air pads that are on top of this gym foam. It's actually pretty comfy. And if I sleep in here sideways, then I can do this completely and close the tailgate. So just a second, I'll show you what that looks like. So yeah, more of a, a traditional camper set up this way. And like, if honestly, if I was on the road to somewhere and just needed to hop in the back real quick, like I could have this set up, jump back here, no problem. It gives me plenty of space here. Sideways. You know, I can fully extend here. Sleeping sideways like that. Plus I still have plenty of room to put my gear in there. I could even do that little table still with the, um, with the heater and stuff. So, and honestly, like this gym foam makes such a difference if you're going to be sleeping on the floor like this, but with this, with this pad, like honestly, I've slept on a lot worse. <laughs> this could be really cozy. If you guys like the video, please press like. Consider subscribing if you want to see what I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, next week, we're headed to Pyramid Lake to go fish for the Lahontan Cutthroat. Um, so if you want to see some videos from that, hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing some solo over, overnight camping um, in the future, going to some different spots that are out here in Utah where I'm at. So appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have any questions, um, you know, hit me up in the comment session. Or if you have any recommendations of other things that I can add to the truck camper, uh, let me know below. All right, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.